Good morning, welcome to the vlog. Today is day 652, I want to say. It's 11.41 a.m. I just enjoyed my lunch in beautiful downtown Hudson. After getting my math class successfully completed this morning, it's 57 degrees and not a cloud in the sky. Finally, a nice day. So I don't know if I mentioned it before, but Obama is coming to Kent State University on Wednesday. Uh, his stimulus package or whatever gave Kent some money to revitalize the downtown district and build stuff and make jobs and whatnot years ago. So now he's coming over so he can, you know, that's kind of his thing and Kent's always been more of a democratic area. So um, if Romney were going, I would like to go see him. If Obama's going, I would like to go see him as well. It doesn't matter who it is. So we got an email, students got an email the other day saying that tickets, you don't have to pay for them, they're free, but every person needs to go pick one up. They'll be available in three locations, one downtown Kent, one on campus in front of the library, and three um, downtown Akron. So I went to campus this morning, they started selling them at 9 o'clock, I had an 8.50 class, I got there early at 8.30 on purpose, and at 8.30 there was a line probably a quarter of a mile long to go to, and to pick up a ticket. So I thought, screw this, I will come back after class. So at 10.30 when I got out of the library for math, they went downstairs, the line's about a mile long from the University Library all the way to Lincoln, Bol Lincoln Street, if you know what that is. That's got to be a mile. So I thought, all right, well, let's try the other location. So I got on the bus, got onto the car, got in the car, went to um, the location downtown Kent. Sold out. Not sold out, but they ran out. So that was a bust. So then I ended up coming to Hudson for lunch, and uh, now I'm headed back. It's 11.43. I have class at 1.10. I should be there at 12.15, which is actually kind of early, so I may stop and get a drink or something. By drink, I mean, you know... I actually just stopped at Shell looking for uh, that that strawberry melon stuff, and their compressor is out in the refrigeration units. So I couldn't get that. Hey, how long is this clip, by the way? It's probably like three minutes, almost two minutes. See, we'll, we'll keep it going. We'll keep it going, because God only knows what I'm going to film otherwise today. Uh, let's see. Bitches, what do we have? What can I complain about? We have a Mercedes. I don't want to see that. We have construction. More construction. We need more construction. That's all we have around here is construction, for frig's sakes. And, and, right turners, a truck, and a beautiful day. So no complaints with that. It's a beautiful day. It's 60 degrees, but I've got a window down because it feels better than that. And what else? I need to keep going. We're at 2 minutes, 24 seconds. I'm wasting your time. I'm sorry. So about the tickets, uh, I'm going to head back to the university now. Maybe they got more. Uh, maybe I just out of luck and I'm not going to see them. In which case, that'll probably save me about six hours of parking and walking for probably an, only an hour speech or something. Um, so I would like to go, given the opportunity. It's not a big deal if I can't, but I will go back and see if there's anything available. And if there is, I'll get myself a ticket. Now, somebody asked me the other day, can you talk about the university a little? Sure. I've always known what Kent State is. Both of my parents went there, and I think they liked it. It's one of the uh, the bigger universities in Ohio. It's second to Ohio State, which is in Columbus, the state's capital, about 120 miles south of here, southwest. Um, so the first time I went there was probably 10 years ago with my mom. If you don't know, May 4th, 1970 something, there was a big shooting there. The National Guard came in during a riot and shot up a bunch of students. Um, so we went to the memorial there. There's a big lawn and a, a bell or something. You can see bullet holes in it. It's actually pretty cool. I have a, a project that I have to learn about all that later on this year, so I will learn more about it then. Um, that was the first time I went. Then after I figured out that's where I was going to go due to proximity, the area, the aviation program, and the fact that it's fairly affordable, and it's a good Ohio school, um, then I decided that's where I'm going to go. So I went and I kind of looked around by car. My grandfather drove through. We looked at the residence halls. Um, we didn't even know. We had no idea what was what. And we saw the residence halls, and I looked at these dingy buildings, and I remember thinking, wow, what a freaking dump this place is. I don't even want to go here. And uh, that was probably about a year ago now, last fall. Then I went back in the spring for um, a welcoming program for people coming in. And uh, I was 
impressed with all the work they had done. They had redone a lot of landscaping and hardscape. Uh, a lot of the buildings had been refinished. And over the past couple weeks of actually attending the school, I am incredibly impressed with the quality of everything. That includes staff, buildings, landscaping, how efficient and effective everything is. Everything is so organized and, well, it just works. It's like Apple runs the university. When they say they're going to do something, it gets done and everything works. Their website actually works. The login and the student Wi-Fi is fast and it works everywhere, which is the complete opposite situation in high school, especially in, even in a community like Hudson that I'm now driving south out of in the snow. But everything at, at Kent is, I don't want to say immaculate, but it's very good. I'm impressed. It has exceeded all expectations. How about that? Now, I also got asked, what is my plan? What am I studying? What's my roadmap? I'll be perfectly honest and tell you, I don't have no idea what I want to do. That's not true. I don't know what I want to do. That's true. Um, I like architecture. I like aviation. I like computers. I like, um, I don't know. I just don't know what I want to do. So right now, I'm taking core classes, humanities, to get to get my required credits out of the way. Um, I may take some intro to aeronautics, intro to aviation classes next semester. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'm just gonna. I'm taking credits right now. Everything I'm taking right now is transferable. So if I decide I want to go west or a different school around here. Not likely. But if I decide I want to leave, can't go somewhere else, my credits will transfer, which is good. So I don't know what I want to do yet. That's the answer to that question. But I'm going to play around in a couple things, and I figure I've got about a year to figure it out, a year and a semester maybe. Um, a year and a semester tops. That's like the most amount of time. I should really figure it out within, within uh, the next semester or two. Schedule. I have uh, first semester ends December 12th, I think, with exams going through the, f the 16th. I'm only taking the classes, what, five maybe? Four? Four or five classes. Uh, so that's only going to be a couple exam days, which won't be too bad. And the exams seem to be pretty quick. I've already taken one pre midterm thing and it only took 25 minutes. I'm sure they will be longer than that, though. So that is the status of that uh, second semester. This year will start, I believe, January 14th, and it runs through May 5th. So it's it's pretty short. It's not high, high school seemed like 10 times as much work, and none of it really paid off. Whereas college is, you have this much to do. If you do it well, then you succeed. It's less to do that I will do better. That makes sense. I've been talking for like eight minutes. I apologize for that. But the last point I want to touch on is, do I like it? And I, I think I kind of already answered that with. Uh, with what I thought of Kent, and yeah, I like it. It's The worst part is probably the commute that sometimes can take an hour, or in no traffic, it's 15 minutes. Um, and the parking situation, being a freshman, isn't so optimal. I have to park two miles off campus and take a bus in, uh, but that's not a big deal. The buses seem to run fairly frequently. Uh, but yeah, I, I like all my classes, with the exception of college writing one, but it's put me in any writing class and I'm going to complain about it. Writing is a lost art. Sorry, it is. It's like playwrights. Okay, old building. This one is Franklin Hall. And the next one would be McGilvery Hall. I believe I'm correct in saying. Up here. Of course we get behind a bus. Porsche. Always behind these buses, which have the acceleration of a Fiesta. Speaking of which, is that a Fiesta? It actually might be, maybe that's why I said Fiesta. But that would be Mick Gilvery. I don't know what is taught in there anymore. My grandfather was telling me they had, or he had a class in there that he could never find back in the 40s or 50s or whenever he was coming here, so yeah. Oh, look at this traffic, isn't it lovely? And we get over the hill, I bet there's more cars. Are there? Oh, here they come. And more buses too. Jesus. There are 27,000 people that attend this university campus. I think there's nine campuses, there's 45 or 46,000 students in general, and 27,000 of them are here with me right now. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four. I would stop at 19, but I'm not even gonna count that high. 
There's just a few more cars over there. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's count. A couple more over here. Reference for across from the library. This is all the construction. They're building a massive new student green area. Uh, I don't know if I told you about that or not, but I will film it when we get in there in probably about a half hour now that I have to deal with this. All the way Summit Street to the lot that I park in. There's more people. Hi! Math and science. <laughs> this is our power plant. The camera won't pick it up, but if you look inside those windows, you can see ginormous machines that are used for creating the university's power supply, which I, I would imagine is fairly robust. Green rights. That's the rec center I have yet to explore in there. Supposedly there's a nice pool and things that I'm allowed to use. So maybe uh, we'll do that later. Oh, look what we get to park next to today. What a treat. It's the BWC Suite, the 325i. Look at that, it's a freaking manual too. Damn, nice choice there, bud. Check it out, we got a little uh, MG maybe, or, uh, or Fiat or Alpha, or one of those little cars. It is 5.36 p.m. I uh, got home and I mowed. That is now done at home, and it looks nice. There's took out more leaves than anything else, though, I think. Uh, maybe I'll show you later. It's 63 degrees, not quite warm enough for all windows down, but it's warm enough for this. I should mount a camera up there, that would be fun, except it would hurt my aerodynamic drag. It's the BMW M5 Series in silver. License plate in my dust, nice car, bud. Dressed for work, very appropriate. Where are you headed today to work? Panera. Panera in Stowe, and I'm classing it up too. We just got dinner. You wanted to sit outside. Poor decision, it's like 60 degrees. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, it's, it's not at all what I would call warm. But it's very bright and sunny, and it was nicer this afternoon, as I mentioned before. I made, I talked for like 10 minutes today, just yep. straight in the car. I drove all the way from here to Kent, um, filming a clip. So. He's probably gonna have to fast forward. Yeah, I, I apologize for that, guys. The V10 found in the Audi S6 is uh, nearly as good as the E60 M5 V10. So that's only. It has what? Has F1. F1. Okay, so it's a auto manual, and uh, driven by a woman due to the. Rash on the wheel there. That's a shame. That's a very nice wheel. C8. We caught some. We caught some hobo sleeping downtown. Classy. You could tell by the car he drives. So Classy. Go knock on the window. No, don't. No. All right. We filmed this before, so we're not going to spend too much time. But this is that uh, 01 esque ish V8. V8. Z8 with a V8. It's my V8. My transmission. Don't touch it. The guy's probably watching you. So. Six speed manual. I said nice car. You did say nice car. That's a point. All right. 7.22, just leaving dinner. It's actually gotten kind of cold. So he's got the Eclipse up tonight. There we go, Eclipse power. And it is still very nice. We've got a moon, tons of contrails, pretty sunset out there to the west. There we go. He's got the five speed in here. I think I, got, I, think I showed you guys this car. He's gonna do an exhaust kit on it. I think he said cold air intake. And there he goes. Except that exhaust doesn't actually sound too bad. All right, home time. I'm gonna try to get a video up on Ryan Nose Tech if there's anything I can post about. I don't feel like doing the iPhone 5 review yet. Uh, I'd like to use it a little bit longer. But that Z8 is still over there. We kind of waited outside Caribou here for him to come out. I'd go speak with him for a moment, but he's in there with his son. Son's on the iPad, he's reading the magazine, so it's gonna be a while. The trend of nice cars continues in downtown Hudson with the Mercedes SLS AMG, this time with the top up. Same one from SoCal. Well, if you guys made it this far, I am thoroughly impressed. I only have a minute and 10 seconds before I can't upload to YouTube anymore because I'm limited to 15 minutes. We're at 13.37. If you made it this far, tell me down below. Uh, that really shows you need to find better ways to spend your time. Maybe not, but anyways, I did not get the Obama ticket today. Oh well, I'll watch it on TV. I was 19 people short of getting it and they ran out 19 people in front of me. So I spent about two hours in line today, whatever. Uh, all I was gonna do was watch YouTube anyway. So that's it for today. Tomorrow is 6.53 on a Tuesday. It's supposed to be 
friggin 66 and sun with rain so i don't know what that means but i will talk to you guys tomorrow on tuesday sleep well good night thanks for watching bye bye